Saturday night at Ralph Engelstead Arena, Minnesota Duluth defeated North Dakota 6-3 as the two teams split their weekend NCHC series. With Scott Koberanski, I'm Dan Hammer. This is your post-game wrap on UNDsports.com. Cobra, North Dakota never led in the hockey game on Saturday evening. No, they just didn't seem like they had the energy level that they did last night. And that was uh, right from the get-go, but again, it was uh, Minnesota Duluth. Uh, seemed like they had a little bit more energy, made some plays, and and so they come on here with a 6-3 win tonight. Here's your scoring recap, and Duluth would uh, strike first in the first period, and it would be one of their power play goals, Alex Iafalo beating uh, Clark Saunders, who got the start. Nice goal by uh, Alafalo, just goes to the uh, front of the net, gets a rebound, and puts it in for one nothing lead for uh, Duluth. North Dakota answered back, though, two minutes and 50 seconds later on its own power play goal from Dylan Simpson. Again, the defense uh, continues to score for North Dakota. Nice shot, top corner from Dylan Simpson as we see from behind. But Minnesota Duluth would score two goals in the final two and a half minutes of the first period. First from Adam Krause. Well, they capitalized on a, a three on one, and Adam Krause just coming down the slot and hammered that one timer. And then Austin Farley with just 11 seconds left in the first period. It was 3 1 Duluth after one. Yeah, another killer. 11 seconds left in the period. Duluth goes up 3 1. In the second period, Zane Gothberg replaces Clark Saunders and North Dakota then with Paul Ledoux and his first collegiate goal. A nice goal by Ledoux, just uh, gets a rebound. He's kind of sneaking in as you see him there, top of the circle. Kind of knuckleballs one, but he'll take that for his first college goal. That got North Dakota within 3-2, but again they give up a late goal with a minute 12 left in the second period. Sammy Spurl scores to make it 4-2 Duluth. That, in my mind, was the real backbreaker for North Dakota. Minute 12 left in the period, we give that goal up. Uh, a little bit soft in my opinion. 4 to Duluth after two in the third. Adam Krause gets his second of the night at the 6.30 mark of the period to make it five to two Bulldogs. Yeah. Krause just gets that puck, it was uh, deflected on the way in and he uh, one times that puck in the top of the circle and got bringing no chance. Bryn Chizik gets his first goal of the season, his second career goal to get within North Dakota within uh, five to three, but uh, Duluth would close it off with a late empty net goal for the 6-3 win. The Bulldogs outshoot North Dakota 32-25. Duluth won the faceoffs 35-28. Three power play goals on the evening. Two for the Bulldogs and one for North Dakota. So North Dakota now heads to Boston University and non-conference games oh so important. Maybe even more so in college hockey now with the conference realignment, the new Big Ten Conference, the NCHC. So UND goes to Boston U next weekend. Yeah, and hopefully they can they can go in there hungry and hopefully they have a little bit more energy after the sickness that they've had all week. So they need a little rest, they'll regroup, and again, they're going into a tough building. It'll be fun to see that game uh, next weekend for sure. Duluth beats North Dakota 6-3 Saturday night, and that's your post-game wrap here on UNDsports.com.